Hey, what's going on YouTubers? Welcome back to another update video. I'm going to show you guys some things I picked up over the past week. I got a Blu-ray from Vinegar Syndrome that was one of their earliest releases and I it was on my wish list for a while and it's been kind of kicking around on the wish list but I, I figure I better get it now before it goes out of print. Um, I picked up a Blue Underground title. It's a two disc limited edition. I got some pretty good deals at Best Buy. I got a box set and then I got three movies for from a franchise I really like. And then I got a steelbook collection from another franchise that I don't really know much about. And I got a box from 88 Films and some stuff from Diabolic DVD. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is something I picked up at Kmart. And this was really cheap. You can see the price up here in the corner. It was $9.99. And this is the Superhero Origins, three classic serials. This is Batman, Batman and Robin, and The Shadow. And these are all original from the 1940s. And these were put out by Milk Creek in this nice little box set here. And The Shadow is the one that I was really interested in. It's the 1940 serial. <clears throat> it says, His chilling sinister laugh strikes fear in the hearts of all criminals. Victor Jory stars as, as the shadow, legendary crime-fighting super sleuth of Pulp Fiction magazines and radio fame, who comes to the big screen for his most dangerous and exciting adventure yet. But who will have the last laugh? Only the shadow knows. And then you have a Batman serial from 1943, and the Batman and Robin serial from 1949. And it has approximate running time, 13 hours, 29 minutes, it's all black and white. It is full frame, unrated, and it's DVD Region 1. And this was put out by Mill Creek in 2014. So I'm going to see if I can slice into this really quick just to kind of show you guys what's on the inside here. There we go. So it comes in this really nice little slip cover here. I like the way it looks. It has kind of that vintage look to it. And then there are two DVDs on the inside. The first one is the Gotham City Serials. And that is the Batman 1943. It says it has 15 chapters. And Batman and Robin from 49 has 15 chapters. So I'm not sure if it was like a little mini-series or I'm not really exactly sure if it's a movie. But um, it says it's a two-disc set here and it does feel pretty heavy. I'm not sure if it comes with a booklet. And the second one here is the one that I'm really excited about, the Cliffhanger Serial Classic, The Shadow. And it has 15 chapters again. So I'm looking forward to getting into these on, on a Sunday, on a rainy day or something. Maybe now that the Packers are out of the playoffs, I can pop these in on Sunday instead of watching the Packers. <laughs> uh, the next one I got here I'm going to show you guys is the Vinegar Syndrome edition that I picked up. This was one of their, their very earliest releases called Punk Vacation. And it, you can see it still had the blue case back in the day when they first started putting movies out. Now they have the uh, clear case, which I really like. And I had never seen this film before. It's from 1987. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo, and it's all region, ABC. And the film is from 87, color 93 minutes, scanned and restored in 2K. Um, a peaceful California town is shaken after the brutal murder of a diner owner by a gang of vicious punks. When the daughter of the slain man attempts to avenge her father's death, she's held hostage by the gang, resulting in an epic battle between punks and rednecks. And it has extra features on the DVD only. Um, video interviews with Stephen, St Stephen Fushi, Stephen Fushi, producer, actor, Stephen Rowland, producer's assistant and stuntman, and massive still gallery. And it also has a bonus feature film, Nomad Riders. 
So I'm looking forward to checking this out, and I like to add to my Vinegar Syndrome collection. This was pretty cheap on Amazon. I think it was about like 13 bucks. I just didn't want this to go out of print and then start, you know, skyrocketing, so I grabbed it. The next one I picked up is from Blue Underground. I ended up picking this up on Diabolic DVD's website because if you ever go to the Blue Underground website, their prices are ridiculous, man. They, they want like 40 bucks for a two-disc set like this where I think I got it on Diabolic for about like $24, $25, something like that, maybe $27. I don't really remember, but it was way cheaper than if you go to their website. And this is the two-disc limited edition, original and uncensored version. We guarantee you will. We guarantee you that you will not live long enough to forget the things you will witness and experience inside Love Camp Seven, starring Maria Lise and Kathy Williams. Kind of a, a Nazi sexploitation film here. <clears throat> Let's see. It's from 1969. It is in widescreen. It's all region, and it does have English subtitles. And it looks like it has a whole bunch of different subtitles, as you can see here. Just about everybody is covered, it looks like. This is the unrated edition. And this is the brand new release from Blue Underground, which came out just a couple weeks ago, a week or two ago. And it has a Nazi-thon, decadence, and destruction theatrical trailer, poster and still gallery, bonus collectible booklet featuring the history of Nazi exploitation by Paolo Zaletti. So, add some of this trash to my collection. Let's see, the next one I got is from Diabolic DVD. This is a documentary about Tom Sullivan, who was the special effects artist on the original Evil Dead and the subsequent sequels. This is a hard box from Germany that was limited to 222 pieces. And I got number, there's a little sticker down here. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. It's kind of like a holographic sticker, but it says on there I have number 119 out of 222. And this is the Blu-ray Region B called Invaluable. And it, like I said, it's the documentary of Tom Sullivan and the, the works that he had during the filming of the Evil Dead franchise. And it comes with this little booklet here that was also released by Anchor Bay when they had the Necronomicon editions that they released, kind of like the uh, synthetic rubber um, books of the dead that they had. They also came with these little booklets. This one here is all in German. And it spans from the very first filming that they called Within the Woods from 1978 when uh, Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell met in college in Detroit, I believe it was. And then it goes on through the Evil Dead years, 1982. And of course I can't read any of this, it's all in German. But it is a cool little book. Some, some stills there from the film. Here is Evil Dead 2 from 1987. And it even talks a little bit about the Army of Darkness from 1993. And it also gets into the Ash versus the Evil Dead here at the back. Towards the back here. At least I thought it did. I could have been mistaken. The Evil Dead remake from 2013. Ash vs. the Evil Dead from 2015 in Current, which is a great show, by the way. There is Tom Sullivan holding a Necronomicon, Book of the Dead. And it's a fun little hard box collectible. I like to collect the different Necronomicons of the films and I have quite a few of them now so I thought I'd add this one and a couple of Best Buy pickups I had over the past week I got this box set at Best Buy for 15 bucks 
And this is the entire Resident Evil collection, except the newest film that's about to be released in theaters pretty soon. I do have all of these on Blu-ray Steelbook, but I think I'm going to keep those sealed. And since this was so cheap, 15 bucks, these are going to be my viewing copies of all the films here. You have Retribution, Extinction, Apocalypse, Afterlife, and the first one, Resident Evil. And it looks like it does come with the ultraviolet uh, streaming code and it unlocks all five movies with one code so that's pretty cool and I thought this was a really good deal for 15 bucks I picked it up even though I'm not the biggest fan of the films I know a lot of people seem to feel that way they deviated very far from the um, game system the game series and I'm, I was a huge fan of the game series and I still am and I have the Resident Evil 7 pre-ordered for my PlayStation 4, which I get to pick up tomorrow, which is the 24th of January, Tuesday. Looking forward to that. It's kind of, it's supposed to kind of go back to its roots of um, like the jump scares and all that stuff from the, you know, the early on in the series. I'm looking forward to checking that out. And I just recently picked up a 4K TV um, Sony Bravia, I believe it is, and I'm looking forward to playing that on the 4K TV and checking that out. So, but with that said, I do want to give these a second chance. I, I watched the first couple on DVD back in the day when they first came out. I have not seen the last three, and I'm willing to keep an open mind and check these out again. So, another series I picked up that I, I saw this one in the theater. This is Star Trek. I do have these three on Steelbook, the three I'm going to be showing you. I really enjoyed this one. J.J. Abrams produced the first two. And I thought the first two were really good. I have not seen the third one yet. But I have those on Steelbook. I'm going to keep those sealed. Here's uh, Star Trek Into Darkness. This was another good one. I think uh, Zachary Quinto plays a really good Spock. And Chris Pine plays a really good Kirk. And this was also directed by Abrams. And this one here I have not seen yet, but I'm looking forward to checking it out. This one just came out recently, I think. Um, not too long ago. Star Trek Beyond. And this one was directed by Justin Lin. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo. And the steelbooks I picked up at Best Buy were the Underworld series and I have never seen any of these even though I, I think Kate Beckinsale is a hottie I think she's very very pretty and I thought she aged very well I happen to like women in their 40s and she is very very beautiful and um, these are all region by the way if anybody overseas is interested I've heard pretty good things about these. I just never got into them, but I'm going to try to check these out. And I thought these steelbooks were pretty cool. This is Underworld Rise of the Lycans. And this one came out in 2016, so this must be the newest one, obviously. And I don't even know which order these were in. Well, it says 2016. It must be the steelbook packaging, because this one also says 2016. Okay, 2012, this one came out. That is Awakening. 2009, Rise of the Lycans. The next one here is Underworld Evolution. It's pretty cool cover art there. I like that. It looks like this one came out in 2005. And the last one here is Underworld, which obviously that must be the first one. And that one came out in 2003. So that is the Underworld little four-pack steelbook Best Buy exclusive project pop art. Thought I'd add those to the Steelbook collection. The price was right. It, they were under 15, I think, at Best Buy. So, and then I got a package here from 88 Films. 
I was uh, I contributed to one of their crowdfunding projects that they had for some releases and it seems like I did that over a year ago I forgot all about these and I got this package in the mail today and we're gonna open it together because I have not checked these out yet and these are Italian horror films that were released now on blu-ray with slip covers from 88 films this one is Enigma and it's the Italian collection volume 23 from 1987 and it has a bunch of bonus features here it has a it's restored in 2k it has an uncompressed English soundtrack and uncompressed Italian soundtrack newly translated English subtitles Enigma Fulci and the 80s 77 minute documentary feature-length documentary looking at the twilight period of Fulci's legendary career featuring interviews with Claudio Fergasso, Antonio Bito, Michelle De Angelis, Massimo Antonello, Gelling, Antonio Tentori, and more. Original trailer, original Italian opening, titles and closing credits, and it has reversible sleeve cover art there. So that is really cool. The next one here is Massacre in Dinosaur Valley. Really cool cover art of that one. A Journey into the Cannibal Inferno. This is spy number 22 from 1985 from the Italian collection. Let's see here, it has um, Location, location, cannibalization, Dr. Callum Waddle on cannibalizing cultures, deleted scenes, original Massacre in Dinosaur Valley trailer, and reversible sleeve with alternate explicit artwork. So this must be the alternate artwork that they're talking about on the slipcover. Two more here to show, guys, and then I'm going to wrap this up. This is a Joe D'Amato film, and this one is Beyond the Darkness. And that is the Italian title there. Buio Omega, and it's spine number 24 from 1979. It's restored in 2K. It has uncompressed English and Italian, newly translated English subtitles, Omega Rising, Remembering Joe D'Amato, feature-length documentary looking at the legendary career of notorious filmmaker Artisti Masakesi, a.k.a. Joe D'Amato. And I probably butchered that. Featuring interviews with Michelle Suave, George Eastman, Rosella Drudy, Carlo Maria Cordillo, and more. 90 minutes worth of interviews. You have the British censorship of Joe D'Amato, limited edition collector's booklet. Beyond the Darkness locations then and now, original Italian opening and closing, and reversible cover. <clears throat> that is Beyond the Darkness. And the last one here is Absurd. And this is a George Eastman film, I believe. Or George, this is a Joe D'Amato film, but George Eastman is in it. <clears throat> this is Spy Number 20 from 1981. And it has the restored 2K English version. It has newly translated subtitles, audio commentary by The Hysteria Continues, The Absurd Files, an interview with Luigi Montefiore, a.k.a. George Eastman, Michel Suave interview, reversible sleeve, with original Italian Rosso Sangui booklet artwork, and Sleazy Does It, limited edition guide to the Video Nasties booklet. And so this is Region B. I believe these were all Region B. 
but I'm really looking forward to Absurd on Blu-ray. I had it on a German hard box at one time and I sold it in a small hard box and it looked like exactly like this on the cover. So I'm glad to get this back in the collection. And I do have a VHS big box of this, and that's the cover art that was on there for Absurd. So that's what I picked up over the past week. If you guys haven't had a chance to sub, please do so. Leave a comment below. If you're a new subscriber, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you guys are picking up. And other than that, hope you guys are doing well. Hope your week goes by pretty fast and pretty good. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Later.